Hello everyone, this is Daddy T again with another video. This video is about using fix the flat on a Tesla tire. Now a lot of people assume automatically that Tesla tires are run flats. Um, that's not always the case. Um, I have uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's on all four of my um, wheels. Uh, they're not run flats, they're damn good tires though. Um, and they're durable, they're durable. Um, the ones that were on there before were also Michelin, so I just wanted to stay Michelin because they're, um, I guess they have a contract with Tesla to make, uh, a partnership with Tesla um, to make sure that the car is quiet, the acoustics and whatnot. These are actually, I think, Acoustatex, something like that. So anyway, let me tell you my story. Yesterday, um, I was driving and I was driving and I got an alert, um, pressure, low pressure alert, stating that uh, I had low pressure on one of my tires and I had to get out immediately and uh, inspect for a flat tire, which I did. And he came down to this tire. Well, so um, the tire that you see on here right now is actually brand spanking new. Um, so prior to this tire, um, the tire was flat and um, I was able to make it to a safe location. And then uh, I, was, I used the pump that came with the Tesla. It's a box pump. You basically plug it into your cigarette lighter and you turn it on and you let it go, let it rip. I was trying to let it go to 40, 41 PSI. That ain't no sentence allowed. <laughs> anyway, if it let me finish this video, I was trying to um, get it to 40 PSI, but I couldn't get it there. And then I determined I had a leak because when I was able to get it to 20 PSI, I came back five minutes later and it was down at about 5 PSI or 10 PSI. So my buddy told him about this product, Fix a Flat. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not uh, advertising for this product. I'm just uh, basically talking about it, just like a normal human being. Um, so I never heard of this product before prior to yesterday. And so I bought it at the gas station, and the instructions are you're supposed to take this on a completely um, deflated tire, shake it up vigorously for 30 seconds, is what it says. And then you basically take this end, screw it on completely onto here, keeping this bottle in the upright position, you disperse the product inside the, to the tire, all of it, right? Well, I did just that, but the tire wasn't inflating. It wasn't raising. It should do so immediately, but it wasn't. I heard it. I heard the car um, like lifting a little bit, but it wasn't what I was going for. It didn't look like this. That's for sure. So um, I was a little worried, but miraculously, the tires that I ordered three weeks um, from the states actually made it over here to Japan. So I was elated, I'm like, oh yeah. So I put the tires in the back of the car and I slowly drive on a semi-flat, mostly flat tire um, to my tire guy. About 10, 15 minute drive. And I think that if I didn't have this in there, I probably would've been screwed, honestly. So um, when I got to, to my tire guy, they lifted the car. Also, when you lift a Tesla, it's advisable to buy one of these. These, I just call them hockey pucks, but um, these are jack adapters. What happens is there are uh, um, four plates on the side skirts behind each wheel, and they have three holes in them. And this will go into one of the holes, you get it in where you fit in basically, put it in the hole, twist it a little bit, and until it stays in place. And this part right here actually um, will go onto the jack while you're jacking it up so that you um, protects the battery from any damage or anything like that you definitely don't want to damage the battery that's underneath the car or the battery pack okay we don't want that so I use that and after they did that the car immediately inflated and then it got to thinking oh you know what it's probably because the engine is right above this tire here um, and so I was thinking maybe the extra weight from the engine um, would not allow the product to uh, disperse or expand the way it should have. Um, because it, I went up to the tire and it looked just like this. I actually hit it, it felt rock hard. 
and I could easily drive on it. I felt safe driving on that thing for about three days, but since I had my new tires, uh, I didn't want to. You see these still have some sticker residue on it. That's how new they are. So, yeah, true story. Um, and I had them clean up the calipers, as you see, they're nice bright red while, they were, while the wheels were off. So, um, what am I saying? What I'm saying is, if you own a car that has a rear mounted engine and you have a rear flat or even a front mounted engine and you have a front flat um, and or you just straight up cannot get this product to work I would advise that you try to jack the car up um, first and then put the product in so that it can expand just high enough for it to get off the ground um, if you own a collaps collapsible jack um, that would be nice because most of them can support about 3,000 pounds so and they're only like 20 25 dollars a piece so be nice to have that and a fix a flat bottle in your car just in case you know you're on the side of the road you don't want to be in that position where you have to wait three four hours for somebody to come and get you and help you out you do not want to do that especially a guy like me i'm daddy t for a reason because i have three children and i don't want to be in that situation daddy when is the guy coming daddy when are we going to eat daddy when are we going home ah, daddy i gotta pee don't be that guy, honey, or gal, you know, be prepared. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Also, um, Tesla owners, specifically Tesla owners, when you get the low pressure um, warning for your tires, even after you're, get your new, you get your new tires on, you'll likely have to reset your entire car. How you do that is basically the two knobs on the steering wheel. Open sesame. The two knobs on the steering wheel, you want to press those. You want to press those, right? So right here and there, you want to press and hold those down um, for about five seconds and then the entire flat screen and the gauge cluster will go black. Don't worry, you can still drive because that's what I was doing. My wife was panicking. I was like, ah, it's fine, we can still drive. I did this a million times, so. And then the alert went away um, immediately after the car came back up. So um, after you get new tires on, if you have that situation, you have an alert, you can clear the alert by resetting your car by pushing the steering wheel buttons down, um, just holding them for about five seconds, okay? So there you have it. Um, I hope this helps, um, and like, comment, subscribe, and uh, you guys enjoy your day. And I'll look for that loud semi that was out here ruining my video. I'll just catch him, I won't hurt him, I promise.